the economies of scale. So end users sitting in any third world country or developing country or a semi-urban rural country can afford it. That's why we will try to keep the subscription monthly cost as low as a cup of a coffee. Maybe five bucks a month. Any user sitting in any country can afford it. And uh, robot will be slightly an item which we are trying to work on. Obviously it's an expensive item but our major efforts are that we'll try to make it as low as cost of a mid-sized sedan and then maybe making it available through financing so schools and offline offline education is up to 43 percent so this robot will actually help us as those parents to continue the early childhood education at home the wheels on the bus go round and round it is driving through this town and making a beep beep sound i think my teacher looks like my mom or grant my puppy misses me and searches where i am the wheels on the bus go round and round. to make content for parents like mother, father and then pre-mother, post-mothers like mothers who are expecting the baby for the first time to give them lessons from different content like breastfeeding, cognitive development, early age, how to attune yourself so that the child you are expecting is highly cognitive, is highly enhanced with their intellectual capacity. So you don't have to look at the pre-parenting model. ECD Hub will also have module for you and then obviously being a first mother for the first time and father for the first time, your time will be more involved in researching a book and now what can I do for my kid when I go home he or she will be expecting an activity. So ECD Hub will be giving you like one activity a day that will help you. So you don't have to go here and there. It's a one window solution for everyone actually, parents, teachers and kids here at Quaid. Chris Stevens. I'm one of the animators at the company and today we brought the robot to the school and showed it off and I'm kind of like a big kid so I was really excited to see it work and everything and you could tell by the look on their face that they were really excited to see it and interact with it and right now the robot is still learning so I can just see the potential that it's going to be very important to use in the classrooms and as a learning tool for the kids to progress, especially at this early age where they're able to soak up so much information. In the classroom, the robot can help uh, teachers uh, by giving the lessons, what the teachers are giving the lessons. The robot can display, interact with the kids, so the interest will be there for the kids. Uh, still, the human touch will be there. Uh, you won't be able to eliminate that because of the young kids, uh, but this will be very helpful uh, if we have a robot in the classroom. And I feel I'm really, um, I saw the robot, I'm, I saw the excitement in the children, so I, f I feel it's, it's, it's going to be fun and at the same time learning for the children too and it's going to support because of the content and the interaction of the robot uh, with the children, which I I saw during the presentation, it was really nice. And the yeah, interactive we liked part it. of the robot is very good. Mm -hmm. So, when the robot will interact with the kids, uh, they get excited. When they get excited, they will learn more and doing more things with the robot. It's interactive. So, that's 
that's a plus. Uh, kids learn more when they can see things and touch and interact. So it's definitely more than just pen and pencils staring at a book. The, the interaction with the robot will definitely enhance um, the learning technique. And I think they're just going to soar into the future. Got a chance to see the ECD team, ECD Hub team, and describe their pretty cool robot. I think it's a pretty successful uh, successful uh, way of children to interact with ki with robots, with AI, computers, technology, and a fun showcase of really what's possible in the future for early childhood development learning. And exciting, I saw a robot dance, also saw it teach and educate, got the kids dancing and moving. And for the most part, I thought it was a pretty interactive way to say, here's what kids could be learning in the future in upcoming classrooms and other sessions. I definitely think that um, my child will be very excited about the robot. He came home, told me all about him originally. Now that he's met him, uh, his, he can tell his energy has changed. Um, I think that it's very educational and that it's going to help him process and keep his attention because sometimes he does get a little off kilter. And so having the robot will keep that energy going and be able to keep the attention of the children um, from something new, something animated, different way of learning at such a young age. They really need to incorporate different things in order to excel in their education learning at this age. I think that this robot will change their education to a whole nother level. They'll be able to understand more on that child to robot level, almost like a child to child level versus the child to teacher level. It's uh, the uh, instead of having the adult teach the child, the robot teaching the child will probably give a lot better insight to the child being able to interact at a more comfortable level with it.